First question is from Kirsten Watson. Go ahead. Hi, Garrett. Um, first, just wanted to ask, how has it been just since being recalled and really being out there on the mound? Just how are you feeling? Uh, it's been a great experience. Um, obviously, everyone, you know, everyone's goal is to get here and, and to get to stay. So being able to be here as long as possible has, has been an amazing experience and be, you know, in the locker room with these guys and be a part of this team has been awesome. And earlier this spring, Mark Pryor, he was speaking really highly of you, just kind of being able to get a look at you playing in spring. Can you describe just how it's been working with him and really just this pitching staff? Uh, it's been awesome. Uh, these guys have so much knowledge and they're so good at what they do. Um, and so being able to come into an environment like this, that, you know, really set set people up for success. And, you know, they take what you do very well and they try and maximize that. And they just let you go out and, and be the best pitcher you can be. Thank you. Next question is from Sarah Wexler. Go ahead, Sarah. Hi, Garrett. Um, there's been no uh, residual side effects from the comebacker that you took the other day, right? Oh, uh, no, it's, it's been fine. Just a little bruising and and that's about it. So it's it's been all good. You'll be ready to go if called upon. Yeah, definitely. All right, thank you. Next question is from Eric Steven. Go ahead, Eric. Hey, Garrett, just wondering, um, if, was there has there been a big difference this year um, at the alternate side? I know it's different teams, but um, just compared to like last year, your experience um, at the alternate site and compared to this year? Um, it hasn't been a, a ton different, you know, it's, it's obviously different because of, you know, different teams and changing environments and everything. So that's been a bit of a change, but, you know, you still kind of go about, about businesses daily and, you know, you get out there and you get your work in and you're playing a couple games a week and just trying to be ready for, for uh, the next level. Does it make a difference that you're, you're playing other teams as opposed to, say, uh, like your, your own teammates in, in exhibition games, things like that? Yeah, that definitely it definitely helps a little bit. It makes it a little more game-like, which is nice. You know, you see a different uniform every day, and, you know, you're not facing the same four of your teammates every other day. So it helps a little bit and, and definitely uh, gets you ready to play other teams and play in real games. Thanks. Next question is from Rowan Kavner. Go ahead, Rowan. Hey, Garrett, um, after you got hit by that line drive, how bad did you want to finish that game? I definitely wanted to stay out there and finish it. Uh, I was bummed that, you know, after getting hit, couldn't couldn't get him out in time. Uh, he was running down hard down the line, so it was going to be a tough play regardless. But, you know, you always want to stay out there and finish what you started. And, you know, that was that was kind of part of the frustration for me. But, you know, I was pumped to see Dennis come in and, and finish it off and do what he does. So that was awesome. I know you got – uh, I think one game last year at the, at the major league level, um, you know, what did you kind of take from that experience that, that, I don't know, maybe could help guide you over the off season or, you know, what did you feel like you, you learned heading into 2021? Um, it was, you know, it was a learning experience for sure. You know, uh, I got my feet wet uh, for one inning last year. And then, you know, I just came in to spring training this year with a new team, obviously, and, you know, just kind of knew what I needed to do to, you know, continue to success and attack the zone and, you know, figure out where to, you know, put my put away pitches and all that kind of thing. And, you know, then you formulate that with, you know, Mark and Connor and, and the other coaches and stuff. And, you know, you kind of mesh it into a game plan and then you can just go out there and compete and do what you do. What did you think when you got, um, you know, acquired by the Dodgers and, and, you know, what do you think about the, the opportunity now that seems to sort of be ahead of you? I know it's injuries involved a little bit here, but, um, Definitely has, seems like it's giving you a chance to, to kind of show what you can do. It was definitely an exciting time. Um, anytime a team like the Dodgers wants to come and get you uh, is super exciting. You know, the success that they had last year and, you know, the guys that are on this team and the coaches and everything. And it's just a really, really good environment for success. And I'm super happy to be a part of it. Thanks. Next question is from Mike DiGiovanna. Go ahead, Mike. Here, just wondering that comebacker the other day, uh, off the bat, did it feel like that might be heading for your uh, face? And, and uh, how, how scary is that for a pitcher? Um, you know, it wasn't, it was one of those things where it happened too fast to really think about it. Um, you know, you deliver the pitch and then all of a sudden it's, it's on you. So I uh, just tried to do what I could to, you know, have a second effort and, 
try and get the guy out. And, you know, I thought we had a chance at it. Um, he was running hard, so he made it tough on us for sure. All right, thanks.